The Sun, our star, hibernates every 206 years. At this time, scientists say we are at or approaching this 206 year mark. The 200 year old solar cycle continues to dominate global climate. The most recent multi centennial climate epoch, which began around 1830, has begun to reverse direction from a global temperature standpoint. The past period of generally increasing warmth for the Earth, which was caused by the Sun's natural and regular cycles of activity, reached an average peak of warming between 2007 and 2008, as measured by global atmospheric temperatures in the lower troposphere. This change was observed in oceanic temperatures as early as 2003, acting primarily under the influences of a repeating 206 year solar cycle. A new solar hibernation has begun, and is marked by the significant decline in the sun's energy output. Starting with Solar Cycle 24. This energy reduction has initiated an expected reversal from a past warm era to a new cold era. Hibernation has been observed to last from 22 to 33 years. Last hibernation is thought to be the delta minimum, 1793 to 1830. An independent review of historic records was performed of 350 years of global volcanic activity. 1650 to 2009, and a seismic slash earthquake activity for the past 300 years, 1700 to 2009, within the continental United States, and then compared to the sun's records of sunspots as a measure of solar activity. The largest recorded earthquakes in the continental United States historically took place in the middle of the last hibernation. 1811 to 1812, the New Madrid quakes. The SSRC research report 1-2010, similar to that of other researchers, established a strong link between solar hibernation and these largest geophysical disturbances. Of the 31 volcanic eruptions documented since 1650 with a VEI greater than or equal to 5, a total of 25 occurred during a reduced period of sunspots, if not a major reduction in sunspots or a solar hibernation slash minimum, e.g. delta minimums. 
This preliminary study showed that 80.6% of the largest eruptions took place during extended solar activity minimums. Significantly, the following list of the eight largest volcanic eruptions globally since 1650 shows all but one took place during a solar hibernation and or a significant reduction in solar activity as measured by a sunspot cone. Additionally, the SSRC research and that of other respective researchers show that the geophysical upheavals like the largest earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are likely to occur during these solar events. As before, with the Mount Tambor eruption in 1815 that took place during the last solar hibernation. Large volcanic eruptions may greatly add to the cooling of the earth on top of that created by the sun's output and or lack of. Now that the hibernation has begun, it is possible for these unusual variations in temperatures to strike with little warning. We should not be surprised to see occasional severe crop damage and or recurring food shortages in many nations at any time.